Hey y'all, welcome back to How Made Simple. Happy Sunday. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. It is a new week and it is time for a new meal plan. I could not be more excited to talk to y'all about this week's meal plan. And it really doesn't have much to do with the food that's contained in it, but more because of a homemade simple friend who reached out to me after seeing last week's meal plan video. And she was willing to teach me how to do do the recipe cards on a digital platform that I already have access to and I use every week for my thumbnails, but I did not know that you could make recipe cards on this particular digital platform. So I'm really excited to tell you no more handwritten recipes. We have beautiful digitally curated recipe cards for each of the recipes that are in the menu plan from here on out and I am so thankful for that. So if y'all don't mind, give Elizabeth a big thank you down in the comments below and tell her how much we appreciate her kindness She was so generous and sweet about the way that she tried to inform me and teach me about this better way to do things And so I'm really thankful for her. So thank you, Elizabeth all of us owe you a big huge thank you and so I really appreciate your help also thank you all for all of the get well wishes that I got last week I felt a lot better now Lane is done with it and I think I think it's gone through me and all of the kids but Chris is still not feeling well so hopefully in the next few days he will feel much better and we will be back on our feet no more coughing and no more sickness if you are sick I hope that you feel better really soon this weather it's it's almost freezing here today and in just a few days it's going to be in the 80s so nobody can avoid getting sick with the weather fluctuating like it is so just hang on spring is on the way and it won't be long until we have nice warm beautiful sunny days to enjoy uh, on to the menu plan. I've gotten all of these meal ideas from a Paula Deen magazine that I picked up at the thrift store. I tweaked them a little bit, but they are mainly from Paula Deen, so I guess it will be a Paula Deen theme this week. But we have one recipe for the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, don't worry about it. Just adjust the cooking time and cook it in your oven and it should work out perfect but that is an air fryer pork chop recipe also a couple of soups a vegetable beef soup and also broccoli and cheese soup which is absolutely one of my favorites another meal this week is going to be a sweet potato kale and kielbasa sausage hash that's cooked in a skillet this sounds weird, but I'm really thinking that it's gonna taste good. So let me know what your family thinks about that recipe. A couple of chicken recipes have made their way back into the meal plan. Buffalo chicken subs, which is a, just a sub sandwich with buffalo chicken dip that is homemade and some toppings. It looks really good, so I'm excited about that recipe. And then also a broccoli and mushroom chicken skillet meal should be really good for this cold winter. And then last is an easy to throw together ground beef and macaroni dinner. I hope you enjoy all of these recipes. I'm going to place them here at the end of this video and also you can find a link in the description box to my website where they will all be typed out and you can print them from there as well. Camden has promised to teach me how to make little recipe sections of my website. Maybe I will learn that new skill in the coming week and I can bring that to you very soon. I hope that you enjoy these meals. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you and I will see you again next time. Mm -hmm.